My name is Josephine Schellenkamp and I've had a flower shop in downtown Sioux Falls for the last 35 years. My first job was in a flower shop as a freshman in high school. Uh, they had asked for extra help to wrap flowers during Valentine's Day and I loved it. And as it turned out, I worked at that shop uh, for the next seven years. Um, when I went to college, I, I always thought I wanted to be a special ed teacher. And so I started taking basic classes and then some education classes. And then I just kept feeling that pull to own a flower shop. And so then I thought, well, then I'll take some business courses. So I took business courses and that didn't work either because I'm not a bookkeeper. I'm not an accountant. Um, so I ended up with a marketing degree that has helped me tremendously over the years. When I first got started, it was actually my senior year in college, um, towards the end of the year, I started taking um, orders for weddings. And my first shop, if you want to call that, was actually in my parents' uh, basement laundry room. And I would take a shower curtain, I just shake my head when I think about this, but I would take a shower curtain and hang it, and then I would get a block of dried ice so that I would keep the area as cold as possible for the flowers. Um, so then I realized that, yep, this is it. I'm gonna, I wanna do this. So I went to the SBA, uh, Small Business Association, and asked for a loan. And honestly, uh, the woman that interviewed me and helped me fill out the paperwork, and I had to do like a, a spreadsheet of what the first year income and all that would look like, um, she actually said to me, and keep in mind this was 35 years ago, um, that if I was a guy, I wouldn't have gotten the loan. But because at that point, they were trying to get more women into business, um, and even as young as I was, I was 21, um, I got the loan, and that got me started. So I was very lucky in that. Um, my typical work day starts out with uh, buying flowers. Uh, we look at what orders we've got, and um, if there's anything specific we need, uh, we have a wholesaler here in town, which is great, and another that comes out of Wisconsin. Um, I often think how unfortunate the smaller towns and smaller shops around the country, or state even, um, how difficult it would be because they, they only get one shipment a week. So they have to try to figure out exactly what they'll need. If you get a special request, then you really can't fill it if you weren't lucky enough to have that as part of your order. Um, for instance, today we had a funeral and they wanted pink roses. Well, I don't have pink roses, but we only had to run, you know, it's about six blocks from us to get some pink roses. So that's very convenient um, and helpful. Uh, then usually as we get through the day, unless the fresh orders keep us busy, then I'll end up doing some of the silk work. Um, we do a lot of custom work for people in offices, you know, making a centerpiece or a wreath that type of thing. Um, I really enjoy that too. Uh, work ethic, I think probably the most important thing you can do if you're gonna be an entrepreneur is just really be honest um, with everything um, because you really need to develop that um, people's opinion of you and their trust of you. Um, I know that like when when we have a complaint, for instance, I, I believe that if you make someone happy, they tell one person. If you make someone mad, they tell three people. So the old saying of customer is always right, it, it, it's true. And even if you don't think they're right, you gotta let them feel like they're right. Um, but this is how I always deal with it, is after they've vented or whatever is the issue, then I always say, what can we do? to make this right. And I feel like when you give that um, control over to them to say what they want, nine times out of 10, they don't even ask for more than you're willing to do at all. So uh, it is important to keep people happy and, and feeling like their, their business in your shop matters. Um, I also think that it's, um, I've learned kind of the hard way um, over the years that it's important for me to be there and for people to see me. And I understand that because I've got a couple of other friends in retail 
And when I go in and I'm patronizing them and spending money in their shop, I want them to know that. And so um, I want them to see me and they want I want them to see my support of what they're doing. So I, I am here six days a week and I'm lucky because as the saying goes, uh, if you love what you do, you don't work a day of your life. So thanks for listening. Have a great day.